sometimes people have what it takes, but they haven't recognized it yet. Just go forward. So what do you need to do? How do you stand out? So what you need to do is be that person that's different and is bigger than you think. Rise from the ashes and fly like the phoenixes that you are. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, hello. This is Andrew David. This is Blake Newmar's partner program, et cetera, et cetera, all that fun stuff. If you're watching live, hello. Appreciate you guys being here as always. If you're watching on YouTube on the replay, then go ahead, like, comment, do all that fun stuff. Now, let's see. I spent a weekend, I mean, yeah, weekend goofing off, but sitting down and meditating and going through affirmations and talking and planning and writing things out, and writing my journal and doing all of that stuff and thinking about my goals and talking with some individuals that are just crushing in different categories and trying to get some mentorship myself. Um, blessed to be in a position while I was there where I was able to get some mentorship and still provide some mentorship for some others that were there. Just simply because I taken a few steps down a, a path, I get to do this a little bit more than, than they do. And they were asking about doing content every day and why and how that might help them with their business and everything else. Um, and so we got a chance to talk. There were a few kind of um, life lessons thing. Like there's a handful of phrases that I refer to from time to time. And I'm going to throw some of those at you today. I'm going to talk a little bit about them. And then I'm going to give them to you inside the, the Skype channel. So you've got them. Uh, maybe come up with some of your own, you know, but just a couple of things. So number one. I have learned over time that done beats perfect. Blake says launch him perfectly, right? But done beats perfect. If you are going through life telling yourself that you are a perfectionist, then really what you're doing is you're going through life, allowing yourself to make excuses for why you don't get shit done and you need to stop. Quit trying to be a perfectionist. Just get something done and get it launched. This is something I have to tell myself over and over and over again. Get going, right? I'm great at ideas. I'm great at taking something that's already started and making it better, getting things to the start line from idea implementation to launch. That's where typically I need a little bit of kick in the butt as well. That's one reason I've got a couple of different coaches and mentors, but guys remember always done beats perfect. And together with that is the, you know, don't think just do right. And as a wise old man once said, or a wise old Kind of wizard once said, you know, do or do not. There is no try. Hopefully some of you guys get that. Don't get bogged down with paralysis by analysis. Just get it done. Just do it. Guys, um, I, I got a chance. One of the things that stuck with me from a um, talk that I heard uh, years and years ago from General Norman Schwarzkopf. If you guys remember, leader of the Allied troops during the first Gulf War right? One of the things he was talking about was just momentum. Just start, get out there and start because no matter what you choose, it's easier to make adjustments if you have momentum. So if you choose correctly, you're great. You can accelerate that growth. If you choose incorrectly, you can make modifications, right? But the, you're already moving and it's easier to change course once you're moving. Now, it doesn't mean make uneducated decisions and do stupid stuff, what it means is, we talk about this all the time, continue to educate yourself because when you're educating yourself, it becomes easier to make either the right decision or a decision that's mostly right, and you can then make the adjustments. But don't think, just do. Uh, next, my past is not my future. Who I was, what I have done, has helped create who I am, but it does not dictate who I will be forever. Okay, My past is not my future. Too many of us hold on to the guilt that we have for actions in the past, right? Regrets that we have. Stop it. Who you were and things that you've done, you need to find a way to release the guilt for things that may not have gone perfectly, right? It's okay that things didn't go perfectly. It's okay that, you know, things didn't always work out the way that they should. They got you here. And here is a pretty damn good thing, right? We're pretty lucky to be where we are. Next, my life is mine. I am the captain, right? Take responsibility for that. So taking responsibility for the past doesn't mean that I wallow in the guild. It simply means that I own that whatever happened to get me here, I bear 
at least a modicum of, of responsibility for what happened, right? Certain things happen where, you know, whether it's an accident, things happen in life, certain illnesses, other things, some of those happen that we don't have any control over. But for the most part, a lot of what we have and what we deal with on a daily basis is because that those are the choices that we have made. We made them. I made the choices that led to where I'm at, whether it be the divorce, you know, kids, ex business, you know, current business, opportunity to, to grow, friendships, physical health, all of, like those are choices that I made. Sometimes there were other parties involved, but my life, my choices, right? So understand that your life is yours. Uh, next, there is the determination versus desperation. The motivation to do something, anything, be it this, be it your personal development, uh, be it you know getting in and working out, determine what it is that you want, have your goals, be clear about them, but work with determination as opposed to de desperation. If you're in a desperate scenario, it becomes difficult to make the proper kinds of decisions that need to be made. And it becomes hard to motivate yourself to do it on a, a consistent basis because we become consumed with the desperation. Think about health scenarios. When you're in a desperate situation, it's too late to make the correct choices that will allow you to be determined to move forward. With your business, you know, financially, if you're in desperate financial straits, find something to pay the regular bills as you build your dream. Don't give up on the dream, but take care of the stuff that leads, leaves you in desperation mode, right? They go hand in hand. So de determination versus desperation. Next, how you do anything is how you do everything. And this goes to, I heard um, a, a psychologist and he's fairly famous, but an individual talking today about, you know, people don't really get away with anything in life. You know, every choice that we make, small choice, large choice, whatever, you know, and, and bends the fabric of reality in, in some way. Right. Every choice we make creates that little ripple in reality. Do you guys remember that it hopefully hope I hope all of you guys have seen Avengers Endgame. Um, and where Dr. Banner Hulk is there talking with the ancient one, I think is the name of her character in in the you know, Dr. Strange's mentor and talking about you know, reality and the stones. And if you pluck it out, there's all these different pathways, right? And we've talked a little bit before about the butterfly effect. Look, every choice you make tweaks reality just a little bit. When I woke up this morning, the fact that I decided to make my bed will determine other things throughout my day, even if you don't realize it. You know, I'm starting a, a physical challenge for October. The, one of the guys that I was with over the weekend was talking about, um, he had done it last year. He did 10,000 pushups in the month of December. Works out to, depending on the day, on the days of the, the month, 300 plus pushups every single day. So for October, 31 days, it's about 324 pushups every single day that I've got to do. Well, I decided today, instead of waiting for October 1st, I decided today to do not 300 plus, but about 200 or so to start to prepare for what I'm going to do there. And I decided that in November, we're going to add in another one. I'm going to do so many stairs on the Stairmaster, right? Like it's all, yeah. And Michael's talking about, there's a great talk about making your bed in the morning and how that starts your day and choosing to be in control. All of these things are simply understanding. The more that you understand that every choice that you make is in your hands and how well you do it and how much energy you put into it. And, and when you decide to be, you know, open and honest and up, full of integrity with yourself in those choices, then you start to do it with everything, right? If I'm honest with myself, I'm more likely to be honest with others. If I'm honest with myself, with my health, I'm more honest with others. If I'm honest there, I'm honest with my business and I'm making those choices and putting things in, right? And then the last one I just want to throw out there today is about that. It's about integrity. It's about keeping your word and holding yourself accountable and yourself accountable with others. So if I tell you I'm going to do something, I'm going to do everything in my power to be able to do it. Right? 
integrity doesn't simply mean I'm, I'm honest in a court of law in front of an attorney when I'm sworn in. It means I'm honest with myself about what I ate, about my reasons for doing something. Okay, so I'm going to share these with you here. Done beats perfect. Don't think, just do. My past is not my future. All of this stuff, I'm going to share it real quick into the, the um, challenge. Just give you guys some things to think about. Drake said he's in with the push-up challenge. Guys, you don't have to necessarily do the 10,000 if you don't want to decide on a number. I'm going to do some other challenges as well, reading and reaching out, gratitude-type challenges like we did this last week. We've got um, October, November, December to wrap this year up. You guys should be doing extra content this month. This month, Even if you haven't launched yet, content is one of the challenges that I gave you guys for this month. You should be doing something there. Challenges that are going to be upcoming, you can decide which ones you want to partake in. But part of the Skype group, that challenge group, is to get you guys outside of your comfort zone to do more than you want to do. I do not want to do 10,000 push-ups next month but I'm going to do it because I was challenged multiple times over the weekend and then called a couple of names when I tried to back out. And so, yes, I was pressured into it, but I do know it's going to be better for me. So I'm going to make it happen. And I'm going to start prepping for 3,600 floors come November. Now I am also fully, and that works out to about 120 floors a day on the Stairmaster. That's not going to be fun. I don't enjoy the Stairmaster at all but I know what's going to happen to my body if I do that. I also know that if I'm prepping myself in October, there's a chance that I might up that goal before I get there. Now, if that scares you, look, maybe it's 100 miles in the month. Works out to a little over three miles every single day that you go and you run. Maybe you do 50 and you go out and you walk a little over a mile and a half every day. Maybe you haven't been reading much and you decide you're going to read X amount of pages in a day or in a month, right? Whatever it is. Start thinking about what it is that you're going to be doing. I'm going to give a couple of different options and we're going to keep ourselves accountable uh, throughout this month. And I'm going to do it accountable enough. And I'm going to say this here. I, don't, I may not post it on social media, but probably a before and after shot of what 10,000 push-ups looks like. So I saw, and the big reason I decided to do this is my buddy shared his and he was already in shape. He was already exercising. He was already eating pretty well. And the transformation just from that was incredible. Guys, it doesn't have to be, again, the push-ups. It doesn't have to be the Stairmaster. It could be walking. It could be just drinking X amount of water every single day. It could be eliminating some type of food that has turned into, you know, that, that kind of thing. Whatever it is, guys, pick something and do it every single day for 30 days. And I promise there's going to be some type of, of transformation. Maybe it's getting back on the affirmations train. I know some of you are still doing it and others need to. I want you to think about yourselves. Think about what you need to do. Look at some of the sayings I threw up there. Add a couple if you'd like. But let's get everybody up and running. We got just over three months to go before the end of this year. Let's make it fantastic. Love you guys. I will see everybody tomorrow. The same bad time, same bad channel. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you, Andrew. Thanks, Have Andrew. A great day. Take care, Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it, Andrew. Take care, everybody. Thank you, Andrew. Sometimes people have what it takes, but they haven't recognized it yet. Just go forward. So what do you need to do? How do you stand out? So what you need to do is be that person that's different and is bigger than you think. Rise from the ashes and fly like the phoenixes that you are.